All right, in this video, I'm going to use the axioms for probability to solve this um, probability question. So first, let's go ahead and read through the question. We have a ball that is selected at random from a ball pit that contains red, orange, green, um, blue, and yellow balls. Okay, the probability of randomly selecting a red ball is uh, 3 over 5. Okay, sometimes as I'm reading, I like to go ahead and write some key stuff down. So the probability of getting red is 3 over 5. Um, the probability of randomly selecting a blue ball is 1 over 5. So let's go ahead and write that down as well. Okay, 1 over 5. And what we want to know is what's the probability of getting an orange, green, or yellow ball. Okay, so what I want to know is the probability of um, orange, okay, uh, green. So if I, it's or, it's orange or green, right, then I'm using union. So orange or green um, or yellow. So union, yellow. Okay, and this is what I want to know. Okay, so they've given me the probability of red and blue, and then I want to figure out, well, what's the probability of basically not getting red or blue? All right, and I want to use the axioms for probability. So just as a gentle reminder, uh, just real quick, and I made this in a previous video, I talked about the axioms in more detail, um, but just really quickly, what are the axioms? The first axiom basically says that the probability of any event um, must be greater than or equal to zero. The second axiom um, says that the probability of the sample space um, equals one. Okay, so the total probability is one. And then, you know, just briefly, the third axiom says that if I had a um, infinite sequence of disjoint events, so disjoint um, disjoint A1, A2, etc. That's very important for axiom three. Then, um, as long as the events are disjoint, then we have the probability of the union of those events is equal to the sum of their probabilities. Okay. All right, so I want to use these axioms to solve this question. How am I going to do that? Well, let's start with um, axiom 2, which says that total probability is 1. So if total probability is 1, then the probability that I get a red um, or uh, orange or green or uh, blue or yellow ball. This is the same as my sample space because my sample space only contains these colored balls. So this is the probability of my sample space, which is one, right, by axiom two. All right, so once you've figured this out, now I can use axiom three to break this union up into a sum, all right? So this is going to be equal, so this is equal to the probability of getting a red. Notice that these are disjoint events, right, because you can't get a ball. A ball is either red or it's orange or it's green or it's blue. It can't be both colors. It can't be more than one color at a time, right? So. Since these are disjoint events, this is going to be equal to the sum, right? The probability of an orange plus the probability of getting a green, the probability of getting a green plus the probability of getting a blue, okay? Plus the probability of getting a yellow the probability of getting a yellow, okay? Which, once again, this is equal to 
one. Okay. Let me just erase this here. Okay. This is equals one. So this is by axiom two. The second step is by ax sorry, the second step is by axiom three. By axiom three. So we have disjoint events, and so we are able to break it up like this. Okay. So let's see here. We know some of these things. All right. We know what the probability of red is, and we know what the probability of blue is. Right. So we know this one, and we know this one. So let's plug those in. So what do I have? I have three fifths. Okay, plus the probability of orange, plus the probability of green, plus what's the probability of blue? It's one fifth, so I can plug that in, plus the probability of yellow, okay, equals one. Right. And so at this point, I can do some algebra and basically subtract off three fifths and one fifth from both sides of my equation. And what I'll have here is the probability of orange plus the probability of green. All right. And lastly, plus the probability of yellow equals one minus three fifths minus one fifth, which would be one fifth. Okay. All right. Now again, by axiom three. Okay. I can write this go in the other direction and say that this is going to the sum of these probabilities is the same as the union because they are disjoint events. So I have this is the probability of orange union green, union, yellow, okay, and that equals one fifth, which is what the question was asking. The question was asking me, what is the probability of that union? We've determined it is one fifth.